Hi guys, I'm Nicole Paris, and today I'm going to show you my take on the new nude. I'm going to start with one of my favorite foundations. It's Bobbi Brown's Intensive Skin Serum Foundation. It also has an SPF of 40 in it, so it's going to be protecting my skin while creating a beautiful finish. Just using the full coverage foundation brush to apply it. And I'm mainly looking for any redness in my skin, any discoloration in my skin. This brush is absolutely amazing. It feels so good. It really presses the makeup into the skin. I really make an effort to blot and press in so that the foundation becomes one with the skin. And as you notice, it gives the skin this beautiful radiance as well. So now that it's all pressed in, making sure that there's no lines so the world thinks I woke up like this, I'm gonna go straight into my concealer using the color Warm Beige, and it's a creamy formula, so it, it doesn't look dry. That's the most important thing. I'm gonna start here in the inner corner of my eye, making sure I go straight up to my lash line, and I'm just doing small strokes underneath my eye and delicate strokes. I wanna make sure that I am not dragging the product. And I personally love to use the concealer blending brush because it gives me this beautiful even finish. And then I go in with my ring finger, just tapping out the edges mainly. And I definitely wanna make sure I go here in this inner corner because it's never cute to have a chunk of concealer right here. I'm gonna continue and do the same thing on the other eye. The idea is to look bright, to look rested. And also when my under eye is bright, I find myself wearing less foundation. After applying my foundation, now I'm gonna go into my powder. This is a skin weightless powder. You can use it actually for an all over foundation, but I'm just gonna use it as a powder because I'm using a sheer finish powder brush. So it provides a nice finish without adding too much coverage. Everywhere where there's shine, I'm applying it. It doesn't add texture, which is wonderful. So now that I've finished my foundation and powder, I absolutely love the way that my skin looks. It still looks hydrated. It doesn't look overly powdered, but it's a finished look. I love it. And now I'm going to go into my favorite part, which is contouring and bronzing using a skin stick foundation in color espresso. So I like to go around the top of my forehead. I bring it here, just in the center of my ear is where you want to bring it out. Do it to both sides, of course. And then of course, here on the jawline. So a nice little three. And then I'm gonna take my full coverage foundation brush again, the one that I used earlier. And then I'm just using that to blend, but I'm pressing, I'm pressing into the skin. So pressing and going upwards. So into the hairline. Pressing it along the cheekbone as well. The biggest thing that I am always mindful of when doing this contour is while I'm pressing this in, I'm also going upwards because I really, really don't want to drop that cheek. I want to leave it bright right here so it shows that different dimension. And look, now I have a jawline. I know oftentimes contours, it can be difficult to pick a color. So when I want to create dimension on my skin, so in other words, angles, I want my cheeks to pop or I want my jawline to be defined, I choose a cool brown color. And not only are these skin foundations really easy to apply, they're super creamy. And so I don't find myself working too hard to blend the product. And now that I have finished my contour, I'm gonna go into my blush color. So I've chosen Bobbi Brown's Pot Rouge in powder pink. What's really great about these is you can actually wear them for your cheeks and for your lips. It's like back in the day when grandma would just have a lipstick that you could just swipe on your cheek. This is the same concept. I like to put it onto the brush using, of course, my full coverage foundation. I use this for so many cream products. And then I press it into my hand just so that I won't have a lot deposited onto my face. I smile so that the apple of my cheek pops out I start there, pressing it into the skin, of course, working back and into the hairline. I want the cheek to look lifted, so by keeping the blush higher on my cheek, this side automatically looks higher than this one already. But when in doubt, blend some more. You want seamless application. Now I'm applying to the other cheek, 
And what's wonderful about this Prat Rouge is it is so creamy, so it plays so well with the contour that I put on previously. The creams marry well together. And now I'm gonna do a highlighter. It's in Pink Glow. I absolutely love it. I overuse this product, it's a fact. But who doesn't want tons of glow on their face? So the best thing is to apply it here on the high of the cheek. Look at that. I mean, that is amazing. Putting it on my forehead just a little bit. And now I'm gonna put it on the other side, of course. Can't leave her out. Now don't put this bad boy all over your face. Just the high points of your face. I don't wanna look like a disco ball once I go outside. I would feel comfortable leaving the house just like this because I've really just accentuated the high points of my face. My skin looks great, but I'm gonna go into eyes just to add a little bit more. Cream shadow sticks are my absolute favorite. They're eight hour wear and they're easy to apply. So I'm gonna put this all over my lid, all the way up to my brow bone. And then I just use my finger to blend. They're so easy to use. And it's a nice powdered finish. It doesn't crease. Nobody's trying to use a cream and then have it crease middle of the day. I'm gonna do the same thing here on my left eye. And I love this because I don't feel like I have to apply it perfectly. There's really no right way or wrong way to do it. It looks bright eyed, it looks clean. And now I'm using one of my favorite eyeshadow colors in Toast. And I always apply my crease with my eye open just so that I make sure that I'm placing the shadow high enough. When I close my eye, I tend to go too low. It makes my eye look smaller. I wanna take full advantage of these big eyeballs. Don't be afraid to blend with your finger. I always use my fingers to blend my eyeshadow, even though I'm applying initially with the brush. And notice how I'm actually just keeping it right in this crease and blending upward. I'm not bringing it down to my lash line. I'm gonna go in on the other eye now and of course do the same thing. I don't know about you guys, but my skin looks amazing right now. This foundation, this highlighter, this bronzer, I mean, I'm obsessed. But now we're gonna finish my eye. So I'm gonna go in for my eyelash curler. Some people are afraid of this thing, but it changes lives, people. It changes lives. All right, so my eye automatically already looks lifted. But before going into mascara, I'm gonna put a long wear black gel eyeliner on for eyeliner. I like to tight line first and then I do my eyeliner. So if you guys haven't tight lined, that simply means just putting it right here near the base of your lash. I apply it with my eye open and just sketch along the lash line. It just automatically adds definition to the eye. I mean, just look at the difference between the two. I could go to the grocery store right now. I don't go grocery shopping though. And then I'm taking the liner to the top and just adding on to the line already built. And I love this gel formula too. This product does not come off until I wash it off, which is nice. Nobody likes eyeliner running down their face. And now that I have finished my gel eyeliner, I'm gonna put some mascara on. I'm using Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. It's super black, which I love. I'm not about to wear a brown mascara. The black works perfect for my eyes. Start at the, I start at the base of my lash. I always want the darkest part of my makeup, eyeliner, mascara, to be at the base of my lash. Wiggling it all the way up to the tip, of course. I worked long and hard to grow these eyelashes. I want the world to see them. That eye is done. I'm gonna put some, of course, on this eye. I have long bottom lashes, so oftentimes it'll touch my skin there at the bottom. So I put a little bit on my bottom lash, but I don't put a ton or I will have a black eye by the end of the day. Let's be honest, I could use this whole tube. I am obsessed with mascara. Going down to the bottom lash. And I cheat a lot with mascara. I, I pile it onto my lash line so that it looks like eyeliner. And now I'm gonna do my lipstick. I am going to use an art stick from Bobbi Brown. These are absolutely incredible because it's a lip liner lipstick in one and they're long wear. It's pretty creamy too. I put it all over my lip and this is rose brown. This is amazing, I believe, for my skin tone and every time I wear this color, I always am asked, what lip color is that? I love the formula. So hey, if it's not broken, don't fix it. 
So this is my version of my nude. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I absolutely love it.